Welcome to Naresh IT guys. Uh, uh, welcome to our uh, diploma in data science and big data analytics. Uh, a brief introduction about myself. My name is Naveen and I have about uh, 20 years experience in IT. 10 years I lived in US, 10 years uh, I'm here in India. And uh, the last three to four years I've been heavily involved in big data and data science platforms and uh, technologies. Um, today we uh, uh, I will be talking a little bit about this new course called Diploma in Data Science and Big Data Technologies. Um, we are calling it as the profession of the future and uh, uh, we will talk, we will look into, we will try to understand some of the important aspects as to why we are calling it as the profession of the future. Uh, first uh, from a perspective as to why it is important and why we would, uh, you would be interested in taking this course, here are some of the reasons. We are all interested in uh, getting into a better career. We are all interested in getting a better salary, getting into bigger companies and uh, we want to get better job opportunities and today data is everywhere, it is a new oil and uh, we want to extract uh, some useful insights out of this new uh, data which is everywhere guys, okay. So here are some of the reasons why we, you might be interested uh, in taking up this course. Having said that, if there is one line answer why, uh, how to achieve any of these things well that is what data is guys okay uh, data can help us and data can make us uh, much smarter than uh, uh, in in achieving uh, these goals is uh, one line answer having said that uh, as part of this course we are targeting uh, to cover various courses one is r will be covering r programming will also be covering python programming and uh, we will also be covering hadoop and spark and uh, so as a result of that not only can you try to this course will help you in targeting for the jobs in R programming so you could try to be an R programmer or a Python programmer you can also try to be a big data engineer or big data analyst as part of the Spark and the Hadoop and uh, at the core is what the big data scientist is guys okay so these are all the different kinds of jobs that you can try as part of uh, taking this course having said that these are the uh, slightly more granular contents or you know at a high level not necessarily at a granular we will actually look at some slides which are a bit more granular at each of these things but uh, starting with R next we'll move on to Python next we'll cover Hadoop and Spark machine learning is an important uh, part of the data science platform and technology so we'll be covering that one and uh, a quick introduction of Tableau is what we will be covering about uh, during this course guys okay. Having said that, uh, first if we try to understand what is data science, well, uh, it is a skill of extracting knowledge from data. So basically we have data and from the data we need to be able to extract the knowledge guys, okay. So how do you do that? Well, imagine you have a lot of, you have puzzle, data is like a raw data is like a puzzle and you want to solve this puzzle, what would you do? Well, the first thing is we try to arrange that puzzle in a, a meaningful way, so which is what we are referring as a pre-process stage guys okay having said that once you prepare it once you start arranging it you start to get a feel of what is lying in that picture and things like that and that's where you try to understand okay the, the, this picture this puzzle is something where it is trying to where a father is trying to meet his child and things like that so what we are trying to do is we're trying to analyze it and try to get a visual feel visual picture of what is behind that puzzle is what we try to do then ultimately we form the final picture just like from raw data we are able to get the final picture and understand what is the puzzle about from raw data we it's a process uh, the process of getting insights from a raw data uh, is what is data science uh, guys and it's like the caterpillar turning into a butterfly you can think of the raw data as the caterpillar you can think of the insights as the butterfly and the during this process what will happen is there's a lot of steps which are involved preparing the data transforming the data performing advanced analytics then visualizing it and then finally we are able to get the insight so that is the process of the data science and that is uh, what we would be covering. This is the entire life cycle of the data science is what you can think of. Having said that, once we get the knowledge, once we get the insights from the data, what do we do? Well, we use it to make it, uh, to, to make business decisions. So, we get the insights from the data then from the insights using the insights we make different kinds of business decisions. What is an example of business decision? Well imagine there is a bank, this is the financial analytics domain. Imagine inside the bank there are many kinds of people. You have married people, unmarried people, you have male, you have 
uh, female, uh, insured, uninsured and different kinds of people. Well, imagine one day uh, from the bank a, a bunch of customers churn away, which means a bunch of customers have closed their accounts in a particular bank and moved on to another bank. Then what will happen? Well, what do banks do? Well, this is what they do, guys, okay? They do not want any more customers to be lost to other competitors or to other banks and things like that. So they take some precautions about that. So what do they do? Well, they'll collect their entire historical data and once they uh, collect their historical data, they will try to analyze. They will use some advanced analytics and they will try to analyze who are the customers who are similar to the customers who have left. So in other words, who are the married people, who are the unmarried people, who are the insured, who are the uninsured and people like that, okay? Once they analyze, what do they understand? Well, they try to categorize them. You know, they, they categorize, okay, these are the different groups of people. Uh, so we can kind of think all the pinks are insured, all the blues are uninsured, all the greens are married and the blues are unmarried and things like that, guys, okay? From this, what can we observe? Well, we can observe that most of the people who, all the pinks who have moved from the, uh, to another bank or who have churned away to another bank or the group of people who are uninsured. So what does that tell us? That tells us all the uninsured people are leaving. So in other words, we had three pinks here, all the people have left into another bank. That means that 100% of the uninsured, there's a good likelihood or a possibility that 100% of the people who are uninsured are ready, getting ready to churn away. That is an example of an insight, guys, okay? And then we have about a couple of purples who have left from our uh, from our customers to another bank. So what does that mean? Well, out of three, a couple of them have left. That means that about 66% of the customers are getting ready to move away or getting ready to churn, okay? So similarly, we have a few greens who are moving away and that's about 33% of that. So what is all this? What is all this? Well, this is about finding the hidden relationships and patterns, guys, okay? What is that? That is exactly what is data science, guys, okay? And there's a group of people who are less likely to move and there may be another group of people who are uh, very loyal customers. Again, we are trying to understand the patterns using the data. And these are the things that generally the real world customers do in trying to understand the patterns for, of their customers, guys, okay? What is that? That is exactly what is data science. Again, it is about finding the hidden relationships and hidden patterns which lie inside the data, guys, okay? Having said that, the same concept, principally, the same principles could be used in multiple domains. So if we take telecom, we can try to, by, uh, we, by understanding the patterns from the data, we can try to understand who are the people who are about to move from maybe AT&T to Sprint PCS or maybe from uh, Airtel to Vodafone and things like that. If you apply it to the pharmaceutical domain or the healthcare domain, there are many clinical trials which are being performed and we can kind of try to understand on the certain kind of medicines on who, which patients it will work versus which patients it may not work. We can try to predict that, guys, okay? You apply that to financial industry, that is what we have seen. You apply that to education industries. We can predict who are the students who might be doing well, who are bright and who, who might be passing versus who might be not passing or failing. Okay, so continuing why someone would be, why the domains, various domains would be interested in something like this is to increase the revenue. Almost every business, every customer wants to increase their revenue. They want to open up the new markets. They want to improve the operations within their organization or business. And new features would like to be added and more importantly, provide, get the insights from the data, guys, okay? So the process of uh, just... Uh, as, as we are building, as we are able to form a picture, picture from the raw data, the similar process. It's an evolution of a caterpillar becoming a butterfly and that is exactly what the data science is about, guys, okay? So in real world, in one way or the other, we are also using predictive analytics, guys. If you recently, uh, the, uh, a few years back, there was tsunami in Chennai and at that time what happened was, it seems none of the, there was no accidents of the animals which were involved, but a lot of accidents of the humans were involved. And what happened was, it seems some, somehow the animals were able to predict that something was wrong in the weather and uh, temperature conditions and it seems they moved away from the uh, shore of the uh, beach or the seas, guys, okay? So that is one way of uh, how we are informally or indirectly getting involved in predictive analytics. Many times we also go ahead and overtake many uh, vehicles at the time and we are mo uh, constantly monitoring and maneuvering the vehicle speeds and things like that. At, at times we go ahead and overtake them. So in, in other words, we are kind of uh, involuntarily getting involved in doing some kind of predictive analytics and things like that. That is a more of a friendly way of uh, kind of understanding what is predictive analytics uh, from our side, uh, from our perspective guys, okay? Another perspective of what a data scientist does, uh, they write code 
and uh, they try to their ultimate objective is to be able to derive the insights from the data and you don't need a PhD just like you're saying you know you don't need to be a mechanical engineer to, to be, drive a car you don't need to be ha, have a PhD to be a data scientist uh, in real world what we will do we will end up working as a data scientist you may end up working with structured data unstructured data and structured data is something where you understand the scheme of your data that you're working but in real world when you may end up working with many of the websites data log data and uh, other kinds of data the textual data itself uh, for example text analytics and things like that where we do not know the schema in such case that is referred as the unstructured data guys okay you have to work with small amounts of data we have to have an idea how to work with massive amounts of data so as part of that we went ahead and included the Hadoop and Spark part of this course where we try to understand how to work with massive uh, data sets and we a data scientist gets involved in building predictive modeling uh, predictive models and that is where our machine learning concepts will come to our rescue in understanding the mathematical principles how to build a uh, machine learning model and things like that we need to have an understanding of uh, how to create visualizations how to interpret the visualizations and what we end up doing is building the data products the data products is the various recommendation engines which we are already seeing in various sites and so on guys okay um, there's some of the tools which are getting used is Hadoop, MapReduce, Hive, Python are uh, these are the some of the tools that a data scientist mostly uses on a day-to-day -day basis and a quick look at what is the main difference between a data scientist and a data engineer a data scientist mostly focuses on the modeling and the visualization aspects of that on the storing uh, telling aspects of that whereas data engineer um, you know, focuses more on the storage part of it and the processing part of it the distributed storage and the distributed processing part of it is also part of the big data engineers and that is what we will be covering as part of this course uh, we need to have a little bit of idea of the statistics and mathematics again it is part of the uh, diploma in data science course so does it mean that we didn't uh, that the businesses were not doing the data science or the data analytics uh, till now and it is, is data science something very new that is happening only now not necessarily true okay so mostly the analytics were being done but the the important thing is they were focusing on the past data science comes in and allows us to focus and see what is going to happen in the future it is going to help us predict what is going to happen in the future based on what data we have okay in traditional way of doing it we are just focusing on the historical part of it that is what is referred as the business intelligence it focuses on why a certain event has occurred and based on why a certain event has occurred data science allows us to predict what is going to happen and it allows us to make some useful decisions which will help the business in increasing their revenue and in saving costs and things like that guys so data science is mostly about the future and business intelligence is mostly about the past and again from a data science perspective data scientist perspective what you would do on a real world will work on R will work on Python will work on uh, some of the machine learning models using big data and things like that so those are some of things we need to have an idea how to store large amounts of data how to process large amounts of data in an efficient ma manner and we need to have some good idea of the statistics we don't need to be an expert in statistics but we need to have an idea about the statistics with an ultimate goal to get the insights from the data is what the data science so that we can help the business in making their decision making process guys okay and some of the examples of the data products the various uh, recommender systems you go to amazon we are looking at many uh, recommendations being made we want to purchase book on data science and we notice that suddenly a bunch of recommendations come in and many times the customers may not even have an idea uh, that, that there are certain kind of books uh, available or, or existing and in such cases the recommendations systems come to our rescue and give us an idea what are the other things we may also want to look at and increase the quality of our experience in uh, purchase and, uh, and and making use of these products guys okay we also have Siri the uh, ads and uh, things like that we don't want to show the ads of uh, uh, if a 10 year old kid is coming and uh, watching a 
an internet site, uh, a more genuine ad is to show them the Reebok or the Nike shoes rather than the Hadoop or the data science uh, ads. And so, at what time what to show, what not to show based on the preferences of the people who are logging on to various sites and things like that is an important thing. That is also an example of a data product and a part of the recommender system. Then we have the traffic simulations. Traffic is one of the devil. Uh, around the world no matter which country, which state you go on to and if this way we can go ahead and come up with recommendation systems. So, there are already certain ways where recommendation systems come in and help us uh, to navigate from one source to destination and allow us to get a better experience and not get uh, involved in a lot of traffic and flu tracker Google was the first one in detecting that the flu were that the disease flu was uh, spreading rapidly even before the government agencies or the healthcare agencies came and they figured out. Again that is an example of a recommended sister or a system or a data product guys ok. Uh, coming back to our course we will be covering the R, uh, we will also cover Python and Hadoop and Spark and the most important part or the heart of the data science is machine learning that is what we will be covering. We will be given an introduction to the tableau and uh, we will we'll try to understand how to use R from a tableau perspective. So, these are the main components at a high level from a, for the diploma in data science. Digging a little deeper in R what we will be covering, we will get into the programming aspects of R, the manipulation techniques, the exploratory data analysis, the visualizations using R and the machine learning models, uh, how to apply them, where to use them, how to use them in using R are some of the R uh, programs details. Coming to Python again we will get into, we will try to understand the Python programming, the basics of the Python, we will dig deep into the Python and try to understand the sequence, file operations and regular expressions. A few case studies and the live projects also will be done as part of the Python. Moving on. Uh, as part of the machine learning, we will try to look at what is linear regression, we will try to understand what is logistic regression, we will try to understand what is k means, k nearest neighbors, decision trees and the king of all the algorithms, the random forests, the association rules mining, the naves base and the text mining. These are some of the models if we understand some of the mathematical principles, it will help us in understanding many other uh, uh, machine learning models and algorithms and help us in doing the predictive analytics guys ok. Moving on in Hadoop, some of the concepts we will be covering are uh, the hive and the pig and the scoop are the most important things. We need to have an idea about the HDFS and the map reduce are the some of the other concepts that we would be covering. Coming to Spark, we will get into the architecture of the Spark, we will dig deep into the Spark and try to understand the internals of the Spark, how it works, what are RDDs and what are data frames, what is Spark SQL. We will also get a touch of Spark streaming and machine learning ML using MLlib in Spark. And Tableau, we will try to understand some of the basics of Tableau and how to use R from a Tableau perspective because at least one visualization tool is what we need to be very familiar when we are going to be a data scientist because in real world we will end up using at least a part of the data visualization tools. Moving on again, why would we be interested in learning all these things? Some reasons are given here, a better career, we all want to get a better salary, salary increase our uh, look into the scope for increasing our salary. We all want to in, uh, get into better companies, we want to get better job opportunities and data is everywhere. Data is the new oil and we want to be able to get the refine. We want to refine it and be able to get the refined fuel which is nothing but there is a lot of data everywhere and we want to be able to get the insights out of this raw data. Moving on again one line answer data can help, it can help us make uh, it be much more smarter and that is exactly what the diploma in data science is about. Um, once the course is done we can target to be an R programmer or a Python programmer. Uh, we can also try to be a big data engineer or a big data analyst and at the core it is about the data scientist guys. There is a lot of dearth for the data scientists and not a lot of people are available by taking up the course. It will be helpful in targeting not just one job, but multiple jobs is what the objective or the goal of this is. And that is the reason why we are uh, calling it as a profession of the future by taking this course. With one shot we are not getting two birds, but with multiple birds is what we are able to get and that is the reason why we call it as a profession of the future. We will be adding more uh, uh, more videos about the data science and the other components of it in the future and uh, you can catch them uh, shortly. So, please stay tuned and please, please play, uh, stay subscribed to Naresh IT Technologies on YouTube. Thank you. Mm -hmm.